get ready to snatch your waist like within two minutes with this DIY. You guys, this DIY is like magic, absolutely sick. The shape you're gonna get on your waist is mind boggling. Welcome to the DIY Designer. My name is Orly. I do DIY home decor and fashion, and today is an episode that I am so excited about. I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a clear belt that is so strong, it will literally snatch your waist like a corset, but it is clear, which means it literally goes with everything, but it is just going to like create this crazy shape on your body that you're going to absolutely love. There is a no sew version, which comes together in minutes, and there is a really complicated sewing version that's like, like literally one stitch. This sucker right here. I'm gonna link this down below. This is the plastic material that is thick enough that it can really withstand pulling tight and actually cinching in your waist. Now, I know sometimes there are items that you cannot DIY, or listen, you just don't wanna DIY and you wanna buy, and dude, I feel you. I feel you. So I couldn't be more excited that today's sponsor is ShopTagger. Do you guys know ShopTagger? This thing is genius. So basically, it is an app and a website, and when you're using it as a website, it's just an extension you download on Chrome. So you download it, you plug it in, and it just sits up on your toolbar. And when you're shopping, clothes, home decor, beauty, whatever it is, you literally just tap the shop tagger button. You can even save them into different lists and categories. If you find an item that is either sold out or sold out in your size or your color, or maybe it's too expensive and you wanna wait for the price to drop, you click the shop tagger button, it will save the item. And when that item comes back into stock or in your size or at your price point, boom they notify you. They also have coupon codes. It can search all the different websites and find all the relevant coupon codes so you're not like wasting time looking for ones that are still active. They also have a 2% cash back on all of these stores. Like when I was looking at these stores, I'm like, what? 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 2% back on all of those. I wanted these Converse Run Star Hike sneakers. Man, they are so cool, the big bright orange ones, but they sold out so fast. And so of course the only sites that had them were like StockX and Goat, and they were like three times the price, and I'm just not gonna do that. Added it into my saved items, and as soon as it gets restocked, I will get notified and I can jump in there before that drop is sold out again. Again, it's totally free. You can download the app or the web version or both like I do, and uh, man, it's really cool. It really will save you a ton of time. But other than that, let's get into something that we can DIY. This belt. So here is our plastic roll. First thing you wanna do, obviously, is just unroll it and lay it flat so that we can start cutting our different lengths for our different belts. Now, what you wanna do first is measure the internal dimension of your belt buckle. That's the gold bar that you see right there. Obviously, don't take the measurement of the outside because our plastic is gonna go up and over that gold bar. Now, I really, really recommend using a rotary blade and a cutting mat. If you don't have one, you will be amazed at how often you use it, so I highly recommend it. I linked a couple down below if you need some good suggestions. Now, if you don't have a uh, fresh blade on your rotary, you're gonna regret it. You're definitely gonna want a fresh blade here because this fabric is super thick. You're gonna need to push down really hard and it should cut through very easily. Now, this is my larger one that I'm making right now. This is about four inches to make kind of the corset belt. After doing it, I actually think two and a half to three inches is about as wide as you wanna go, but I started off on this one making it four. Now, as you cut, you're gonna go the length of your ruler, and once you get to the end, you just need to slide the fabric back towards yourself, take your ruler, line it back up on the part that you've already cut, and sort of finish the line so it's nice and straight. Now, once the piece is done, we're gonna cut it in our width, what's gonna actually go around our waist. So for the corset style, you wanna make sure you're going less than your waist dimension because you wanna pull tight. You wanna have that effect of a corset. So for me, that's about 23 inches. So again, I'm just lining it up, looking at the measurement on my cutting mat, and then just cutting it at 23 inches. Because this fabric was came in a long roll, this ended up giving me two corset belts, which is great because then I can adjust them. So now it's time to put the holes in. Since it was four inches wide, I figured if I set them in a half an inch, then that allows me to separate them one inch apart and I can have four holes. I'm just using a leather hole punch here. Again, this fabric is really, really thick. So a leather hole punch is going to be just enough 
these holes are gonna stay put, they're not gonna tear. However, if your fabric is not quite as thick or you're worried that it is gonna tear, of course you can always set in some grommets into these holes and just pop the grommets into the holes you've created. Now to do my second set, I just folded the fabric in half, used the first one as a guide and kind of put my leather hole punch in through the original ones and I ended up with two perfect holes. If for any reason they don't pop out, once you do them, just grab your X-Acto knife and kind of push them out and those little holes will pop right out. Now I am going to just lace this sucker up. You can use anything you want. I'd recommend something that's not stretch. Uh, otherwise you're just gonna lace it up and you can see that's what it looks like. I am gonna need to lace it on myself when it's time to wear it, but I just wanted you to see how cool it looks. All right, so now I'm going to create this belt. Basically for this type, what you do is you go up over the gold bar and then back down the gold bar. So push it up and over, and then you pull that little tail back the direction it came, and that's what we're gonna sew. This is the very complicated one I was talking about with all of the sewing. It's literally that stitch right there. And you can see this is the belt that I bought and you can actually see the stitch line. I want to try to hide my stitch line under the belt buckle. But again, even if you see it, that's like the one I bought. So no worries. I am. You can see it's kind of pushing at my belt buckle and that's because I'm trying to get it as close to the left to hide it underneath the belt buckle as possible. Just go slow, regular sewing machine, regular needle does go right through this. Now it's time to cut off that tail. That's sort of the excess when I try doing it a few times so you can see the little lines there. But no matter what, you're always gonna cut off your tail. For this one, I tried to get it as close to the edge as possible. Again, I just wanted everything to be hidden under that belt buckle, but you don't have to do that. As long as you cut off the majority of your tail, you're good to go. Now this is how this one goes on. Obviously, once the belt buckle is attached, you just loop the other side up through the gold bar and again, back down the gold bar the other way. Pull it as tight as you can, and the cool thing about this fabric is it sticks to itself. So literally, once you wrap it around the back, it will just stay there. You can open it and close it, which means you don't actually have to cut off the excess. You can wear it up high on your waist or down low. Now, for some reason, the camera was not rolling when I sewed this one down. The only way that this belt buckle is different is it has like a little knob on the end. So you're gonna need to give yourself a little hole. So I basically pulled it as tight as possible. I looked at exactly where the hole would be and I just gave myself a tiny marking with my X-Acto knife. Then I went in with my leather hole punch and you can see you just puncture it through and that's how that one you know, attaches on. But basically this is gonna depend on your particular belt buckle and how it needs to be attached. Last thing you wanna do is just give them a little clean. You don't need to do this often. I don't do it every time I wear it, but because I was making it and working with it, the plastic got kind of cloudy from the oil on my hands. So I'm just using a little bit of like a glass cleaner and a little cloth, and I'm just going around and cleaning it until it has a nice sort of sparkly clear finish. This is it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. Again, that one roll of fabric will get you like five belts. So it's pretty cool. Isn't it cool how easy it is? I think the best part about making it yourself is that you can really customize the width. That's gonna be the most flattering on your body. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you have any questions, just comment them down below or you can always DM me on Instagram at Orly Shanny and I will be there to help you out. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I hope that you will subscribe because that really does help the channel grow. And if you wanna share this with a friend, click notifications, all those good things, it really does make such a huge difference. So I will, uh, I will see you beautiful people here next week. Have a wonderful week. Bye.